and hello YouTube and welcome back to a new year of movie entertainment with me your host Jonathan and a happy new year to everyone 2023 is upon us that means new episodes of new of new seasons of shows new movies new uh, television shows that be coming out whatever it is it's going to be here reviewed by me and of course trailer reactions as well so let's talk about the bad batch season 2 episodes 1 and 2 it is back the bad batch's return the beginning of the return of Star Wars, which we hope and hopefully this ends up being really, really good. And that way, you know, once Mandalorian shows up, which we all can't wait for. But let's talk about the Bad Batch. Um, the first two episodes only. Um, some spoilers ahead. So if you have not seen this episode, you've been warned. So let's talk about it. So obviously we all know who the Batch is. We all, you know, they were pretty much the, you know, like... Oh, they were the clones that didn't really were perfection. So they pretty much got tossed to the side. And then they end up being rebels in a way where they just like, yeah, they don't want to follow the orders of Order 66 or any of the orders of the Empire because they got tossed by them. And now, you know, they do doing side missions. They're trying to survive. And in these two episodes, we got to see the team literally pretty much do the same thing that they've been doing since the last season, which is... Go on missions and try to survive. And in this episode, these two episodes in particular, and you know, is no difference. They get assigned a mission to go to Count Dooku's old fortress to get his fortune. Obviously, we all know Count Dooku, he's dead due to the fact of Star Wars Episode 3 and of course Clone Wars. We all know that. And but his fortune was left there in his palace. So they got, you know, they got the mission to go over there to get the crystals, all the money that he had there before the Empire picks it up because it's all ruined. And, um, well, they figure they can use that money themselves. So the clones decided, hey, listen, we can do this. We can get this money. We can finally buy our freedom. We can get the heck out of this galaxy and go to a distant galaxy and hopefully away from the Empire's grasp. And, of course, they get there. And what happens? You know, bad things happen, especially when the other clones start showing up to try to collect the same, you know, stuff that, you know, the, the Batch is trying to get. And um, we get to see them all, you know, do the struggles with it. And I thought that stuff was pretty interesting. We get to see um, Omega, you know, be really excited about doing this mission because she wants to be, you know, be with the team, be free with them. And then. You know, she feels like, you know, maybe she's a little a bit of a burden because, you know, they have to drag her around everywhere they go. And sometimes she gets herself into a little trouble. And then sometimes they, you know, they have to bail her out. Even though she can handle herself now and, you know, help out the team when she can. And she does. And, you know, you know, to her, she still thinks she's a burden towards the team. And um, she just wants to prove herself. Um, So, you know... Overall, for the first two episodes, it was not bad. It, you know, it's a typical, it's a simple little episode. Nothing major happened. Nothing like, oh man, they they brought this part back from the first movie or whatever. None of that stuff happened. It was just, okay, they're going to go to Count Dooku's old fortress to get his fortune. They try to save themselves, but the clones show up. They try to take it from them because the Empire wants it too. They want to clean up shop, obviously, and... They got to survive. They meet an old man who ends up helping them out. Who at first, when you meet him, you're like, is he going to turn on them? And then, you know, he, cause he has that face that looks like he could be turning on them. But um, you have to watch it for yourselves. But um, yeah, so there's that. You know what? For the first two episodes, okay. I just hope it picks up and really gets really, really cooking. Because, um, you know, I really liked the first season. I thought the first season was very, very cool. And, you know, I like this team. I think this team is very good. You know, you have Tech, uh, Wrecker, you have all those guys. And I think they all work together really, really well. Even Omega is awesome too. And I love when she uses her energy bow um, thing. So I, I thought that, you know, I like when she uses that. I think that stuff is really cool. A limited supply of arrow energy. So, you know, that, it, that stuff is cool. But um, yeah. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Are you guys excited that Bad Batch is back? Are you guys not excited? Did you guys keep up on the first season? What are you guys looking forward to in 2023? Are you looking forward to Star Wars, DC, Marvel? 
Leave me a comment below. Let me know because we're going to be having a good year talking about all that stuff in the coming months and the rest of the year. So leave me a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.